So, hello and welcome back, fellow, well, junk hoarders, because that's all we're hoarding is nothing but junk. Actually, it's pretty good junk. Let's have a look at it. Oh, nice, beautiful silver coin. Anyway, so today we have an un, oh no, an opening of letters, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit tired, a bit wasted. It's like I've been doing cocaine all night. So anyway. First one we have is from Germany, it says Deutschland, and this is Fila, no idea what this is, looks like a nice painting, nice stamps, Eiffel National Park, some giant vibrator, and uh, uh, is that opium? Ah, uh, poppy, or a lotus, anyway, 5 euro cents is so cheap. Then we have another one. Oh, look, it's from a country called Austria. Australia. 45 cents. And these are 2,000. 2,000 cents, so. Oh, they haven't been used for 23 years. But these ones are quite good. These are postage stamps. Or postage stamps. Van Diemen's Land. And that is... I don't know what stamp that is. Probably government stamp. Now, yeah. Anyway... Then I got another one. These are registered, so they're not very interesting. And the last one I got uh, has a Canadian stamp on it. It's from Canada. So that is $2.71. Wow, that's so expensive. Uh, but now I have to find a way to open them up because. Threaten them, you threaten coins and stamps with a knife or a scissors, it scares the hell out of them. So, uh, this one, oh, damn it, it's a bit hard to open. I should do these when I'm totally pissed, they were just weird as, but you know. So, how's everyone's day been? Uh, I've been outside all day, and it's been quite nice. Although, everyone thinks I'm gay. Okay, nice, well-packed banknote. Ah, oh, yes. So, here we have some Italian banknotes. And this is actually quite nice. Although, a bit hard to get out. Try not to bend it. Okay, so the first one we have is a 500 lira from. Where can I? Oh, there you go. Oh, God, that, that's like baby proof. It's like adult proof as well. Okay, so 500 lira. This one is from 1947. So it still had some value, although the Second World War actually reduced a lot of its value. Okay, it has a stamp on it. Not really that much. Meh, probably worth 10 20 bucks. And this is probably from a painting, a Renaissance painting. So, then we have a banknote of Belize. So, this is probably, oh yeah, 1983. So, you don't know if the, the country of Belize is in Central America, it's surrounded by Mexico. No, in Guatemala, and they use the one dollar. They use one dollar because it's hundred cents with a Queen Elizabeth the second on all their coins. Curious thing about their coins is that they don't change the actual effigy, so they use uh, a lot of the pre-colonial effigy on her banknotes. So that's those two. Then oh, a lot of these are adult proof. So, okay, so the next one we have is uh, some beer. Oh, Japanese beer. Nice. And uh, this is going to be fun. Okay. So, I uh, have some golden coins. So, there's golden coins. Did I get something else? I can't remember the stuff that I've purchased these days. 
Dementia is such a bad thing. So, what am I focusing on in my collection? Well, basically, I focus on everything. Uh, that, that's just the way I go. And, oh yeah, we have a, a lot of banknotes here. So, putting a lot of sticky tape uh, makes people frustrated. When you, people get frustrated, they tend to rip things and then they destroy what they've got. So, I'll probably try and use as least amount of sticky tape as you can. Okay, so. I think there's a few hundred dollars of banknotes in here. I'll get rid of that. I'm not going to use that again. Okay, so what we got here is um, Curacao. So these have been vacuum packed. Okay. A Curacao, quarter Gouldens, nice silver coins, 1947-44. And these ones have Wilhelmina. Well, one's hold. That's pity, but this one's a nice one to keep. So that's from the Caribbean. Then we have a five pataka from Macau. 1981. These ones, minimum probably about $20 for that back note. So it does get pretty... Oh no, got two of them in there. Looks like the other one's a Pakistani bank note. So... Uh, fun I this one over into the top so that's all right okay yeah and here we have temple Chinese de Barra. don't know what temple that is so it's quite a nice bank note these are pretty hard to get in high grade and here we have a scene from Hagande okay for the time period in which uh it's gone past. Okay, so I don't know. This is not a... What did I say? It was Pakistan. No, it's Brunei. 1967. It's the first year of issue of their own banknotes. So this one's probably about 10 or $20. Quite a nice banknote. And here we have a mosque. Beautiful. Next two we have from Saudi, oh, this is Saudi Arabia. The, the only difference between these two is the signatures. And they have a building on the front. And they have the Saudi coat of arms on the back. So it's nice. These are from, I think they're from the 70s. Need to look that up. I can't remember exactly. I think about $5 to $10 each. Next one. Oh, this one's a harder note to get. So this is from, uh, I think it's Central Africa. 1937, five francs. And there's a watermark, a guy. This one's in pretty circular VF condition, but you know. It's harder to get these banknotes in that condition. And another five francs from Indochina. But this is not Indochina. Numia is the capital of New Caledonia. So that's where this was issued. So in the Pacific. And nothing on the back. And this is probably also from the 30s. So the signatures the same. No signatures are different. But this one's undated, which is... Bit strange for French banknotes because usually they always carry a date, but it's quite a nice big banknote, so I reckon it's from the 30s, could be even 1920s. But that I need to look up, and there's no date there. And yep, that's it for those two packets. Okay, then we have the German one. Is that the German one? Yeah. I spy die. And this guy, good shine. For eine unentwurmt gelich. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I'll, I'll fill this out and send it. That'd be very interesting. I just write, I send this. I have no idea what it is. 
actually. It looks like looks like a thermostat to me. Oh, that's probably not a system that you can get in Australia. Sticky tape. Give it away. Hello, bingo man. Yo, bingo. Hey, hey, gong. Oh no, it's that time. I'm gonna get diabetes and have a heart attack. Thank you, darling. Okay. This one's a nice wrap. And well, you should keep these so you can learn German. Okay, so we have a lot of Austrian. Two shillings. Uh, this has been cleaned. Looks like they might have been. So this one has the coat of arms of all the states of Austria. And on the back, it commemorates. So this is 1929. Commemorating Fyodor Birov Geb. 1829, 1929. So this is probably his birthday. And, well, these are probably about $15, $20 each. Second coin. Oh, I purchased two of them. Don't know why I've done that. Anyway, so they're both the same. The third one should be different. So, the third coin is. Yeah, okay, it's different. Different reverse. So, yeah, whatever that says. Von der Douche, whatever. Anyway, I'll find information. So, that's from 1930. And obviously the obverse at the front of the coin is the same. Just all the coat of arms of Austria. Beautiful, 